Hey everyone, what's going on? Nexius here, and today we are going to be taking a look at the story behind how the Night Elves joined the Alliance. Now, 99% of the content on this story is found in Warcraft 3, so for the sake of your entertainment, I'm going to stop talking in a second and just show you the Warcraft 3 reasons and the gameplay on how this unfolds. After I show all the cinematics, I will give a summary on the reasons in case you guys are interested in that. So I'll leave it here. I hope you guys enjoy the cinematic story on how the Night Elves met the Horde and Alliance, how they became neutral with them, and then eventually joining the Alliance and being at war with the Horde. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys after the cinematics. With these, we can reach Stone Talon Peak by morning. Hmm. A true warrior would simply take the pass from the humans. Have you lost what's left of your mind, Grom? I gave you a direct order to leave the humans alone. What the hell is wrong with you? Don't lecture me, pup. The wretches deserved death. Hmm. Hmm. Don't you feel it, Thrall? It's like the old days, like the demons are near. I don't know what's come over you and your men, but this bloodlust is a liability that I can't afford. Hmm. I'm sorry, Thrall. You're right. I... I can handle it. I can't take that chance, Grom. Take your clan into the northern forest and build us a settlement. I'll come and find you after we've reached the Oracle. Two days later, along the borderlands of Ashenvale Forest, Damn Thrall for sending us away. He chooses to use his greatest warriors for manual labor? He'll be lost without me. Chieftain, there's something strange about these woods. It's too quiet. Almost like we're being watched. Are you all afraid of spirits now? <laughs> there is nothing here but ancient trees and shadow. Anaduna farore is eraduna bandros. Asterod nefanas. <laughs> you hear that? This place is haunted. I fear no living enemy, but my axe cannot cleave fleshless spirits. Still your tongue and get to work. The War Chief's new settlement will require a great deal of lumber. This section of forest must be cleared. <laughs> Chieftain, we're under attack! You were right, sisters. These green-skinned brutes have no respect for life. Slay them in Elune's name! Later that evening, near the Moonglades of Scenarius. this cursed place. This is the veil of our ancient enemy, the Night Elves' demigod, Cenarius. Yes. Lord Archimon demands that Cenarius be destroyed before we launch the invasion of Kalimdor. Hmm, I would relish the chance to face him again in combat. But he is crafty, and rarely appears in the open. Fateful as it sounds, your pet orcs have recently despoiled these forest lands and incurred his wrath. Lord Archimonde and I believe that the orcs are capable of killing Cenarius for us. Hmm, 
they would have little chance against Scenarius. If memory serves, his powers were quite formidable. Yes, but so are yours. The blood pact that you made with the orcs long ago still binds them to you. You need only recharge their energies. Hmm. Just what are you suggesting, Dreadlord? Spill your burning blood into this pool. Its corruption will lure the orcs to it. And once they've tasted your blood again, they will be unstoppable. The next morning, in the shadowed woods of Ashenvale. Who dares defile this ancient land? Who dares the wrath of Cenarius and the Night Elves? <laughs> the forest is coming alive! We're under attack! Let battle be joined! We need more gold! Hell scream! I sense a dark power emanating from the wilderness. It might be a key to destroying Cenarius. My life for the Horde. I'll consider it. Foul orcs! The Burning Masters charged us with protecting this well. You are unworthy of drinking from these dark waters. I don't know what you are, or who you serve. But no one bars my way! Whatever you say. The pool emanates great power. But I smell the stench of a demon curse about it. I am cursed already! If I must drink from these waters to defeat Cenarius, then I will. No! That goes against everything the War Chief teaches us! We can't let rage overcome us again! No, warrior. We must embrace it, as never before. We must become the vessels of destruction that we were meant to be. Yes! I feel the power once again. Come, my warriors. Drink from the dark waters, and you will be reborn. Master? How can I help? Why? I can wait you no longer. <laughs> These creatures press us hard, and their demigod still lurks in the forest. How can we possibly defeat him? Weak-minded coward! Nothing is invincible! If we are to leave, then this Cenarius must die. Yes, Chieftain! Yes, Chieftain! The demons did their job well. You creatures are as reckless and bloodthirsty as they ever were. We orcs are free, demigod! <laughs> Is that what you tell yourself? Despite what you may believe, you are no better than a malignant bile that flows through your veins. Damn you! You cannot defeat me! I am the heart of the land! 
The demigod has fallen. The war song is supreme. Once again. No. We are free. <laughs> Stupid, pitiful creature. I am the rage in your heart. I am the fury of your thoughts. I alone empowered you to bring chaos to this world, and by the endless void you shall! With the heroic sacrifice of Grom Hellscream, the Pit Lord Manoroth was slain, and the demon curse that had plagued the orcs was put to an end. However, the combined human and orc forces have moved deeper into Ashenvale Forest to ascertain whether a demonic threat still lingers in the land. Toronto Whisperwind, the leader of the Night Elf Sentinels, believes that the Outlanders will bring only doom to their enchanted homeland. Pardon, Priestess, but you've been staring out across Ashenvale for hours. I sense something dark stirring within the forest, Chandras. It feels as if it's heading this way. The Greenskins who killed Cenarius? Perhaps. Perhaps something more. Put your backs into it! Jaina and the Orc War Chief expect this base to be built swiftly. Ah, we shouldn't even be here! Or siding with the Orcs. We're here to hunt the remaining demons, human. You're lucky our goals are the same. All right, you men. Mind your business. Back to work. So... These orcs and humans presume to run rampant through our lands? They will regret ever stepping foot into Ashenvale. We will establish a base and deal with these outlanders as they deserve. Followed us from Lordaeron. The dead advance in waves. Quickly, my sisters, back to the trees. We are no match for a force this fast. It has been a thousand years since I last looked upon you, Tyrande. I thought of you every moment I roamed through the Emerald Dream. My heart rejoices to see you again, Furion. But I would not have awakened you unless the need was urgent. In the dream, I felt our land being corrupted, just as if it were my own body. You were right to awaken me. The Burning Legion has returned, Furion. Cenarius is dead, and outlanders roam freely through our most sacred veils. As was foretold. No doubt Archimonde will make his way to Hyjal Summit and attack the World Tree. 
If he succeeds in draining the tree's energies, this world will be doomed. My only thought was to awaken you and the rest of the druids. The druids of the Talon reside within the Barrow Dens at the end of this valley. If we can reach them, we may have a chance to stop Archimonde and his demons. That did it, boys! We've driven them off! Let's regroup back at the base and tend to our wounded. So, the Outlanders battle against the undead as well. They could prove to be powerful allies against Archimond and his ilk. They are mongrels and nothing more. They are responsible for Cenarius' death. I will be damned before I stand with them. Perhaps you are right, my love. We will establish our new settlement here. Keep your sentries alert. I doubt that we have seen the last of the Outlanders or the undead. We have no time for this, Furion. What are we doing out here? Last night in a dream, a great raven spoke to me and summoned me to this place. We were summoned here as well. Who are you, Outlanders? I am Thrall, son of Durotan, war chief of the Horde. And I am Jaina Proudmoore, leader of the human survivors of Lordaeron. You are not welcome here. Peace, Priestess. They've come to aid you against the Legion. It was you in my dream. But who are you to make such an offer to us? I am the reason for the Legion's return. Years ago, I brought the orcs into this world. And by doing so, I opened a path for the demons as well. For my sins, I was murdered by those who I cared for most. Despite my death, war raged across the lands of the East for many long years, leaving entire kingdoms devastated in its wake. Now, at long last, I have returned to set things right. I am Mediv, the last guardian. I tell you now, the only chance for this world is for you to unite in arms against the enemies of all who live. Sorry I'm late. It, it's just as we feared. Archimonde and his Doomguard are making their way towards the summit. He'll be here any moment. Ten thousand years ago, we Night Elves defeated the Burning Legion. Though the rest of the world was shattered, we were left free to live out our immortal lives in peace, bound to the World Tree. We are its protectors, and through it we were granted immortality and power over nature. Now, at last, it is time we gave that power back. You realize that we will age as these mortals do. Our powers over nature will wane in time. If pride gives us pause, my love, then perhaps we have lived long enough already. I will proceed to the summit and prepare our defenses there. Whatever comes, my love, remember, our bond is eternal.
Hear me, night elves. The time for reckoning has come. If you can provide our bases with support and keep us from being overwhelmed, Thrall and I will delay Archimonde's ascent. Your plan is a bold one, girl. Perhaps I have misjudged you, Outlanders. May a loon shine upon you. To arms, my brethren. To arms, brave orcs and humans. Twilight falls, and the enemy awaits. Archimon's victory here has made him overconfident. He will not see the trap that I laid for him until it is too late. At last, the way to the World Tree is clear. Witness the end, you mortals. The final hour has come. The Outlanders held him back as long as they could. Were you successful in planning the summit's defense? Yes. Now our victory is assured. Four years have passed since the mortal races banded together and stood united against the might of the Burning Legion. Though Azeroth was saved, the tenuous pact between the Horde and the Alliance has all but evaporated. The drums of war thunder once again. So that pretty much sums up how the Night Elves met the Horde and Alliance and why they joined the Alliance in particular. It's because the Alliance and the Night Elves have a common enemy and that is the Horde. The Horde continues to remain in Ashen Vale, killing Night Elves, killing wildlife, chopping down trees, and that specifically is why they are at war with the Night Elves. And the Night Elves and the Alliance both being at war with the Horde is a common enemy, so therefore they are allied together. That is why the Night Elves have decided to join the Alliance. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.